In this video, we'll see how to delete rows and columns into your Excel sheet with the help of macros. So let us see now, I have written some data here. That's a previous video recorded data if you see here. Now the sheet name is R insert rows and columns. That's a sheet name. The file name is Excel VBA. And uh, this data is written from the previous video, video itself. Now, if we want to delete some column, how do we do it? We usually right click on this column heading and then we get the option for this option as delete. Same way, if you want to delete the row, you right click on this row itself and you see the option given as delete. So these are the methods which you use by deleting it in the Excel sheet. If you want to delete with the help of the macros, how do you do that? It's very simple. Okay. So I'll just open the macro part first. That's a VBA editor. Okay, this is the VBA editor and I've written some code here, but these are the names of the sheet. I'll minimize the names of the sheet. So I'll just click on this minimize button. Okay, these are all the models which are present. Okay, so in this place, if you see the model name is delete rows and columns, that's a model and that's a sub procedure which is written. All the commands are written in the sub procedure. So let me explain the first thing. Range of C5 dot entire row delete range of C5. If you see the range is C5. C and that's a five number. Okay. Below the Tuesday, if you see that is C5, you want to delete the entire row, which is in the C5. So related to this fifth row, entire will be deleted itself. If you want to delete more than one row, what you can do is you can select range A1 to A3. That means from here, A1 to A3, that means the starting three rows would be deleted. Entire row dot delete. Okay. So if you have, you have to focus on this one colon three if you see here one colon three which is given the first row to third row entire row will be deleted similarly if you want to delete the columns you write as range cell number dot entire column dot delete or you can write a1 to c1 that's three columns so a b c if you observe here a b c entire row would be entire column would be deleted now what i'll do is i'll execute step by step and you can see what is happening here if I click on this cell, if I click on the step into step into now C5, if you observe here, row number five will be deleted entirely. If I click on this step into row number five is deleted entirely. Okay. If you see A1 to A3, that means starting three rows would be deleted entirely. So starting three rows, one, two, three, that means month and Jan should also be deleted. If I click on this step into now, if you observe here, month and Jan has been deleted. Same way. This was for the rows. If I want to delete the columns, range c5 dot entire column de delete so here if you see the column number c would be deleted here that's a c column it will be shifted to the left itself i'll click on this step into now if you observe that has been shifted on the left hand side now if you want to delete more than one column what you can do is you can write as a1 to c1 okay that means starting three columns a b and c till here everything would be deleted so I'll just click on the step into and if you observe three columns have been completely deleted and I'll come out of this sub procedure itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand how to delete your rows and columns via the help of VBA macros. That's all for this video.